met many personalities here, but beside Rabbi Shulis, the most colorful personality certainly, certainly is and was my dear friend Yossi Dresner. And he's a great teacher of kids, was a great teacher and is a great teacher. He leads the dominating. Everything he does is from his heart, but you know, he doesn't exactly pull punches. I remember the first time I met him was when I was auditioning here. So I was sitting with Rabbi Fred Margulies in the uh, office. It, there, it, it is no more, but where Len Smith used to be. And he says to, like, I'm in the room there. He doesn't say to me, who are you? He says to Fred Margulies, who's this? <laughs> I'm right there. So Margulies says, this is the guy auditioning to be the new cantor. He looks over at me and says, you want to be a cantor here in Velabed Shalom? Why? This is like a volcano, this place. Go to a regular shul. That's the first thing that came out of Yossi's mouth. Mouth. Yossi, his bark was bigger than his bike, but many of the, especially younger mothers who were not used to somebody raising their voice, he didn't do it, you know, because he was mad at you. It's just how he talked when he was got excited. I'm the same way, you know. So, so what happens is I had a little office in the back of the Milchike kitchen. It's where, just where the Milchike kitchen is. There was a little office to the side. Uh, our wonderful custodians eat lunch there. It was just under there, there was a little office. And as I, I my, my first train of, let me go back to my train of thought, if I can do it. He, he, his bark was bigger than his bite, right? So a lot of younger families were, were afraid of him. I'm there once in this little kitchen and the largest man I had ever seen, like one of the 007s, there's a guy who, who's a killer, uh, a humongous man uh, who, who was, whatever his name was, you, you could see everybody was afraid of him. This guy looked bigger than, than the guy in 007. And he comes up to my door and he looks at me and he says, I, th I was thinking maybe this is the last day of my life. And he says to me, do you know Jesse Dresser? I say, Yes, I do. I wonder if you could give him a message for me. And this guy, like even when he talked, I had a temperature of 105. And he says, could you tell him that my daughter, Cynthia, can't come to her bat mitzvah lesson tomorrow at two o'clock? And I look at him and I say, sir, you know, and I could barely talk. I, it was like my heart, I could hear my heart pounding. I said, well, you know, I'm at the back of the building here. You passed Yossi's office. Why didn't you tell him yourself? Because I'm afraid of him. <laughs> and that's a true story. <laughs> Yossi was wonderful with the bar mitzvah kids. But you know, Rabbi Schulweis would be speaking to a kid and saying, you know, and Johnny, Jonathan, as you take your place in the synagogue, now that you're a bar mitzvah week after week and join your people in prayer. And Yossi leans over and me, to me and says, you wanna see Jonathan again in the shul? You wanna see him in synagogue? You have a camera? Take a picture and bring the picture with you every Shabbos. You'll see him again in shul.